So right now I'm on the Waccamaw River and um, I have found an old uh, flat boat from the 1800s, an old barge uh, that is still full of bricks. And uh, I've been down there, I've measured it and uh, surveying it a couple times and um, I need to get some good video of it. And this is uh, the day before Hurricane Florence is supposed to hit us. So um, I want to go down there and make sure I get some good video and document it uh, because this thing is in the middle of a great big log jam and uh, this entire area is filled with all kinds of debris. Uh, we're supposed to get a tremendous, a tremendous amount of flooding and um, a lot of water moving through this river. So um, who knows, it may be buried uh, in a couple days. It, uh, it might be torn apart. So before that happens, I want to make sure that I, uh, I do get some good video of it. And um, you can see right now, it's, it's a beautiful sunny day out here. Um, but that's, that's not what the future has in store for us. So we're going to go down and uh, take a look. So I'm geared up and uh, I'm ready to go do some diving. Uh, it's important to note that this is uh, what they call blackwater diving and visibility is very, very limited. Um, you're talking about one to two feet, maybe even with a really great light. Um, so you got to be really prepared. Also, you know, without great visibility and swimming around log jams and um, with a lot of other debris and that kind of stuff, you, you have to be careful. Um, so, as you can see, I'm all geared up. Um, dive computer lets me know what's going on down there. Uh, also, I have a watch on, that way I can uh, double check, make sure I know uh, what my bottom time is. Uh, it's a relatively shallow dive, though, only about 35 feet. Um, I've got a bag here in case I need to uh, collect anything, if I find any artifacts. Um, this is an important piece of in, uh, equipment, a uh, dive reel. I always attach it to the anchor line when I go down. Um, that way I can find my way back to the boat because it's, uh, again, you can, there's no way to navigate down there. Um, unfortunately, my uh, good dive light is having issues, so I, uh, I've got my backup dive light. That's why you always need a backup of everything. Um, there's also titanium knife, which is also scissors, uh, which is very important because there's a lot of um, fishing line and that kind of stuff which you inevitably end up getting hung up in so gotta have that and um, then of course gotta be able to breathe so I got a full face mask and uh, hopefully I'll be able to explain a little bit about what's going on on down there um, and GoPro gotta document it all right time to splash Okay, so um, found the brick barge here. You can already see that there's quite a few stacks of brick. It's one, two, three, four, five. At least six wide. Plus, we've had piles and piles of fun bricks that are spread across here. And again, 
This is in the middle of a big log jam, so we're not sure how much of this is buried. There's a virtual mountain of brick. You can see a board here on top. This is just a debris that's been washed over it over the years. A little fish right there. But I'm swimming from the port side. Across to the starboard side. And you can tell that quite a bit of this has already been buried in sand. This is part of the reason the water does come in it. There's a little fresh water shrimp. That's a pretty big one, fresh water shrimp. While well, I'm down here, again, you can see the visibility. Not really great. Some garbage, a little Pepsi can. But it's hard to tell where this ship ends and where it starts. Especially half buried in sand. They're covered with lots of debris. So I made it my way to the starboard side of the ship. You see a lot of this wood in the way. Seems like it's a knot from the ship. And I've actually uh, put the hardware. This gives you an idea of what it looks like on the side of the ship. There's gunnel with it there. But this appears to be a piece of hardware. Making our way 
in the valve. When you're doing this, you really gotta be climbing on your hands and knees. Number one, you can't see very much. Number two, there's quite a bit of current. Again, we're making our way towards the valve. Right here, the uh, bow. And it's going across on the starboard to the port side. This is on the board here. Hold the bottom in place. Got an interesting hole cut in it. Again, this is some of the flooring. See, it's heavily encrusted. From the bow to where the stern sticks out of the sand is almost uh, 39 feet long. Again, lots of random logs. You can see right here, the bow has a very pointed shape. The further back you go, the wider the lumber gets. So it's finally there in the sand.
pass all the way up against the zone of the ship. And there's lots of very limited lines on top of all of this. Literally thousands and thousands of bricks on the ship. Another upright holding on to the gunnel here. A giant log that comes across another piece. Actually laying on the gunnel. This is why I wanted to document the ship before the hurricane comes through. Because odds are more and more debris is just going to be washed down upon us. Thank <laughs> you. 